YOLO! Hello, Internet. Have you had a good holidays? We had a good holidays. Did we have good holidays, guys? Yes, I had a good holidays. Eh. Well, we are back. It is the new year. We are here to kick ass, play card games, and we're all out of cards. Let's get started here. This is yeah. Aaron, host of the podcast. This is Mike, whipping out his dual disc and pushing it to the limit. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Steve, drinking a DP. Very nice, very nice. Well, we are back here in the year 2013. We're going to go ahead and give a few announcements out of the way real quick. Uh, first off... Uh, the podcast will be going through some uh, changes. It is now some 18... changes. Yes. Yeah, it is the nineteenth podcast, and it is time for it to go through its uh, next stage of life here. You know, maturity, teenage years, all that stuff. Right. You know, you're saying stages of life like eventually it's just going to wither up and die. Yeah. It might very well do that. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Depends on our audience. If we get a better audience here, but uh, we're going to separate uh, parts of the podcast off to their own things. Like for example, we already took out uh, Mike's you know, Steam green light of the week. That's going to be its own thing here very shortly. Yes, it is, and, and I'm somewhat looking forward to the next installment of that. Yep. Although, I don't, I'm not sure if I'm looking forward to the next bunch of games that we have to go through, because they all tend to be the same thing. Well, we're going to have formatting ways to figure out how to do that, but don't worry, we'll we'll have that something for that coming up next week. We're still getting all the bugs on work out on how we're going to record everything. Um, mm -hmm. Also, starting next week, we are going to be uh, doing a separate bit for the news stuff too like our game releases movie releases uh news within the uh various mediums uh that'll be its own separate thing as well we're going to call that evac station news esn for short um expect that starting next week or the week after again that kind of depends on all the stuff we put in that one and um we are looking forward to also adding some new uh projects on here as well in addition to what we have like uh game reviews movie reviews stuff like that we want to be a full-fledged website at some point so uh, but I'm looking forward to bringing some more people to do uh, game reviews and movie reviews because I have a few people in mind for that. Uh, Steven, you're also very welcome to partake in any of these things. Should they you know, tickle your fancy? Ooh. <laughs> a lot of things like to tickle my fancy. Oh, Ooh. my. All right. So uh, now that we got the air cleared in the first two minutes about what we're going to be doing here the next week or two, uh, let's go ahead and talk about uh, how we've been doing lately, you know? You know, you know honestly, if, if it goes well, wouldn't we be doing it for more than just a week or two? Well, I mean, we'll start, we're starting to in a week or two. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the changes take place in that amount of time, and then we'll just see where it goes from there. Very very good. Smart ass. Thank you. Very good, sir. Very good, sir. All right, well, I'm going to start things off by saying that uh, I want to change the, my uh, top five movies for the year, because we talked about that in a couple podcasts ago. Did Django... Django Unchained... <laughs> the D is silent. If I had seen it sooner, it would have gotten second place, but unfortunately it wasn't out by the time. Uh, that is... Such a good movie. I cannot recommend it more. If you hadn't seen it, go see it. Um, I think so, I want to say it's number one. So it's, it's, just, just maybe. It might be tied. It is some of the best acting I've seen all year, with you know some regards to other movies being pretty awesome as well. Um, great story. Yeah, it's not accurate to slave times, but you know what? It's a fictionalized historical film, or historical fiction, whatever you want to call it. So give it some credit on that end. It, 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 it's... I'm just gonna say it's it's a, it's a pretty damn near perfect movie, and it it's needed to be seen. And I don't care what you have against, you know, Jamie Fox or Quentin Tarantino or Samuel Jackson or slavery. Just see the fucking movie, cause it's awesome. Hmm. Indeed. Um, also, uh, what else? I saw Jack Reacher uh, a few days before that uh, over the holidays. Good movie. <clears throat> I'm not a huge fan of Tom Cruise. It's not my favorite movie, but it is one of his better movies that I've seen, so I'll yes. give him credit on that end. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I was, think I'm going to be seeing that Saturday. Nice. It, it was fun watching him beat a guy with another guy. That, that was fun. <laughs> oh, that sounds fun. Yes. I enjoyed that tremendously. Good sis. So, so I got these, these new mushroom slippers. Those are my slippers, by the way. Yes, they are. Um, so, yeah, I, I think that might be it for movies. Um, Indeed. So what uh, else have you guys have been up to? Well, Aaron and I, we, we recently acquired Payday the Heist on Steam. Nice. It is 
way more fun than I expected. Yeah, it's 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 you, addictive. T- 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 tell them what uh, Payday is for the people who don't know what it is. What Payday the Heist is is pretty much a game where you and up to three other friends or random people um, play the roles of four bank robber type folk, and you well as as you would expect, you rob banks. And it, it's it's pretty much you know you you have to get the shit that's there and you drill through a gate or burn through a floor or I don't know there's all that there's guns you shoot a bunch of cops because what else do bank robbers do in their free time other exactly. than rob banks and shoot cops <laughs> masturbate okay masturbate as well <laughs> that's also somewhat fun <laughs> but yeah so so that's pretty much what the game's about hmm. is just you know ma- making the payday. And I'm going to admit, I love co-op games, which is why this game looked so appealing at first, and once I got into it, I, cause like I said, I didn't expect it to be big, because it didn't seem to have much of a story to it, but it's not so much the story, it's the challenge in it. It's really... It is very challenging. I, I think we've beat, like, three out of, like, the eight or ten maps, hmm. and we've tried them all multiple times. Yeah, like, there's one, there's one, obviously, where you rob a bank and go through the whole procedure of that. That's pretty simple to do. Yeah. There's one where you chase a guy who's uh, taken some of the goods that you work to steal away, and you have to pursue him through waves of cops. Yeah, it, it's pretty much you're chasing him down some streets, and it's through waves of cops just in your way and shit, and we could not do this, no matter how many times we tried it. And then, and then we, we switched it to easy difficulty. Which, there are only two maps you can do on easy. The first one, the bank, and then this one, which is the, the Heat Street, I think is the name. And hmm. Yeah, eventually we managed to do it on there. I mean, although easy mode was kind of ridiculously easy. Yeah, that it, the jump between easy and normal difficulty is somewhat mind-boggling. Yeah. Hmm. In the game, there's also three or four with DLC kind of classes you can choose. There isn't really anything different between which one you choose, except for what you'll upgrade. Like, it changes the perks you get as you go through the game. Yeah, like, as you level up. Because if you unlock a perk, you can then use it as anything. Like, you just have it unlocked. Like, for example, if you play as the technician class, you gain AK-47, you gain the sentry gun, you gain... um, Toolkit. Better better toolkits. I want to say you'll... Wait, shotguns for the uh, sharpshooter, right? Which but yeah. is interesting. But yeah, there's a bunch of way, different ways to approach it. It's definitely one of the more fun games I've played in a I, while. Yeah, I would nice. say it is It is worth getting. Um, another one I got recently, uh, you were one of the winners, uh, Skyrim. I oh. finally jumped onto that bandwagon. Uh, yeah. Well, <laughs> I put it off for so long because, you know, school, work, I never had time to play it. But, you know, I had, I had this week off from work to enjoy it. And i got to say, it's definitely as much fun as everyone said it is. Um, I pretty much went in just going in with my little character, having a story with it just for fun. Pretty much I go around just shooting art, uh, bows and everything. The first time, it, it, we did one of those slow-mo things where it like, zooms in on your character and then follows the arrow to the target. I shot a bear. One shot killed it. I'm like, fuck yeah, America! <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, yeah, yeah, so, and, and I'm going to be playing more Skyrim now because, well, when he got Skyrim, I, I just felt like it, it, it'd be pretty good to give him all the enhanced texture mods and... And just the stuff to make the game look better, make a few things, you know, just better in the game. I mean, it's already a good, it's already a great game, but just make it even better. Mm-hmm. And so there's all that, and he's been playing with those. But now, just pretty much today, we've gotten ass load of new mods just to throw in there, and which barely work. <laughs> yeah, just got it to work. There's like one mod that's not working, but I had that problem way back when when I tried it. Hmm. Um, yeah, we just got to get it transferred over to his computer, and then, then it'll be off and going. Very nice, very nice. One of my favorite mods that uh, was just installed through the first bundle he gave me is this dinosaur mod, which I showed you on that little uh, screenshot I had. I fought a triceratops, and well, okay, what happened was I saw the triceratops. I'm like, the fuck! So I approach it slowly, and I'm like, okay, let's just see if this is friendly because they're plant eaters, right? They're not gonna hurt you. And so I walk up to it, and it's like, okay, no big deal, nothing's happening. And so I take a screenshot of it, it's a little far away, so I get closer and take another screenshot, and perfect screenshot, all of a sudden the little thing on the top that tells you if it's an enemy or not just turns red, and just starts trying to plow me down, like, fuck no, leave me alone! <laughs> Piece of shit! I, I'm just going to clarify something for the audience, is that it, it's not really a dinosaur mod, it's more of just it adds a lot more creatures you can encounter in the wild. 
you know, including those, and there's, like, some weird, like, tree folk kind of things. Um, you can encounter, like, shades and shit. Just a whole bunch of enemies in the wild. And it, um, a couple others makes it so, like, enemies will scale better with you as you get higher levels. So, you know, instead of you're, like, level 50 taking out random little bandits, no problem at all. Now, you know, you might actually come across, like, more tough enemies. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's it's pretty nice with all these a- extra things in there. and I, I like how easy it is to, to mod Skyrim. Hmm. Yeah, very nice. Reminds me of uh, modding uh, Left 4 Dead almost, because that game was also pretty easy to mod too. Yeah, in a way. Easier than, like, Oblivion, for example, because Oblivion is a bit temperamental. Yeah, I'd say it, it is easier in some games, but Bethesda... They're they're pretty good for modding anymore. Like, it's always good when when a you know game creator makes it so that th- their game is able to be modded. I mean, it, it gives extra like functionality, extra things people can do with the game, and like it keeps interest going in your mm-hmm. game when people can just add more content. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I hate companies like, for example, Nintendo is a good one, and also. Most pretty much any of them on the Xbox because Microsoft's really strict about their online service too. I kind of hate how they just restrict the ability to have uh, people make content for games for free. Like I get that they want to have you know DRM controlled, make sure no one pirates anything. But uh, Sony's a great example of it where things just get pirated because of that DRM. People don't want to put up with it. They think it's just annoying in the way. Plus you know look at Sony's firmware updates, all the other bullshit you have to go through just to play games. I mean. No one wants to do that. They'd rather pirate the game and be like, okay, I got it. You know, now mm-hmm. I don't have to worry about all this crap. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so how about you, Steven? What's new with you? <laughs> um, not a whole lot. I've, well, I've been mostly playing WoW, sad to say. <laughs> you, you know, when, when I was home for the holidays, um, I, I, I watched a little of my dad play some, some World of Warcraft, and in a way, I kind of wanted to get back into it. Just because you know, so, some of it's some of it's fun, and I mean it is pretty fun pl- just playing with other people, you know. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, I would just get bored of it again. Yeah. See, if that game, if uh, World of Warcraft was more like Skyrim in the sense that the combat and everything in the game worked like Skyrim did or something like that, I'd be more inclined to join it. But I've seen WoW get played. I've seen other MMOs get played. They all kind of have a similar play style. Just you click on the guy, and that's kind of how it goes. Yeah. So the combat doesn't. To me, it doesn't feel as skilled. It's more of a numbers game, unless of a you know tactical slash skill base. How well you can fight, kind of. Yeah, yeah. I, I'd like it if there was more tactical things involved in World of Warcraft. Well, other than that, I've um, <laughs> haven't been doing much. I'm actually going to be getting back into my comedy thing. So. Nice, nice, nice. That starts up again on uh, this upcoming Monday. I'm taking. It. Yep, and there's also going to be another show here. Uh, January 26th, there it's going to be another Mike Knight in Corville, actually. Mike Knight? Woohoo! My, my name's Mike, what up? Well, <laughs> I, I let's just say Microphone. open mic, how about that? <laughs> open mic night. That, that, that makes me sound gay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Um, at the Legion here, so right across the street from Dairy Queen. I'm kind of curious of how it's going to go, because it's the first one in... I was talking to the dude, and he's like, yeah, it's an open mic night. You can do whatever you want. The, the, it, the Legion, the Coralville Legion? Yes. All right, the Coralville American Legion. Yes, you, we deliver liquor there. Yeah, no, I'm just okay. making sure so everyone yeah. else. Then, uh, no, it's going to be it's gonna be weird because he's going to do songs and shit in there, too. People are going to play music and everything. It's like, I don't know if I really want to go to this. Mm. <laughs> but I'm going to anyway because he's giving me like 10, 15 minutes just to play with. And I was like, fuck yeah. Granted, I can masturbate faster than that, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We'll see if I can take my time with this. <laughs> now, uh, now, just, uh, just don't masturbate while you're up there. <laughs> hey, it's an open mic night. It's freaking. <laughs> speaking of open mic night, I'm going to point out that uh, Sean is not here. If we can see that, yeah. people are probably going to wonder why that is. Um, Sean is out. He uh, told me he was uh, not feeling well today. Uh, Russell and Nick, I believe, are at work, and uh, we like I said, we'll have some more people joining us here. Not today, but like in future episodes. So mm-hmm. you know, it's kind of yeah. yeah, everyone kind of clued on that much at least. Um. One thing, Aaron, is is it you know recently you've been telling me that you're working on a website. I am working on a website, in fact. Um, it's not complete. Uh, there's still quite a bit I got to do with it. But uh, if you guys, anyone listening, wants to join in on the website or be a part of the process as we build it up, uh, you are more than welcome to join in. 
Uh, let me get the address for you. I actually have that tab open, I believe. Smart man. Oh, well, hey, you have World of Warcraft up oh, there. Look at that. Well, evac, d evac hyphen station dot webs dot com. Yep, if you go to evac station hyphen or evac hyphen station dot webs dot com, that is where we will be uh, trying to do more of our stuff from now on. The site uh, still needs to be updated in terms of look. But um, we have a review section, which will not be in use right away, but we will be working on that soon. Uh, we have a video section, which has everything except for the Zelda Let's Plays. We will be getting those on at some point. And we also have forums, so that way if you want to discuss with us what you want to, want, what you want to see other uh, people who are fans, or just kind of want to you know, keep up to date on stuff we're putting out, uh, it's all going to be right there, convenient, easy to use. Uh, do not think we're abandoning any of our other stuff, though. We'll still be posted on Steam forums, Facebook, all that stuff. Don't think we're been any of that just yet so here's a question for the forums do you have to be registered on the website or can just anyone get on there i think you have to be registered on the website all right yeah and it, it's all free thus far because one i don't know how to make people pay for that yet and two i don't feel like charge people for that specifically yet anyway just because you know our fan base is still small, small. <laughs> Ch -ch charitably speaking it's small <laughs> existing would be uh, also kind of charitable but whatever, you know, we're, we're getting there, we're getting there. Hell yeah. Yeah. I, I think these small steps towards improvement would, will definitely make things uh, l get better and more... At, at least it'll feel like they're getting better. Yeah. Well, we, it's, all, it's all that matters, right? If you're just feeling better? <laughs> dem feels, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah just, just gotta feel better. And dem, you're halfway there. Dem feels and dem gams. Dem gams. <laughs> dem gams. Uh. Oh, yeah. But no, I... Uh, I was kind of a sad panda when I come to realize that you didn't post the uh, PlayStation All Star Let's uh, Play. I, I did feel bad for not getting that, but I mean, with that week of podcast going, I didn't have time to really get yeah. it recorded and put up, or put up. Um, it's still on uh, the computer, so I mean, as soon as I have a chance, I'll put it up. Uh, my goal is to have like three or four more record before I start putting more of those up, just so we have some to bank on in case you know. I was just saying, you know, I have like a best of section. I might do that too. Yeah. Just, you know, just random clips. Like, some of the kills that we did were just fantastic. <laughs> Especially when I got my super charge move with Ratchet and facing slides like, you can't see me. Bam. Hmm. Guess again. Or, or you know, the, like, the, the, the pretty bad parts that happen, like, you you and I, you know, just... Taking forever to get anything just, done. Just trying to hit each other and we couldn't. <laughs> so, like a best of section best of worst of that might be a possibility even with like other games too yeah um i definitely plan on getting that one up here very shortly um like i said i just want to get some other ones done too that way we have sort of like you know just a, a group of them to go on so i can kind of make sure the editing with them is all consistent and that way they're all like out in a timely manner Hell yeah. Something yeah like that and i'm probably gonna do a different let's play here soon like i know i said i want to finish zelda ocarina of time but here's the thing it's a boring game like i'm not gonna lie everyone loves zelda it's just not for me. It's not my thing. You've uh, already played it, though, haven't you? No, no. I played maybe the first half of Ocarina of Time. I've never gotten to the second half just because I got bored of it so much all Oh, the time. my God. I hate you now. <laughs> you know, I, I don't think I've ever played Ocarina of Time, honestly. My God. Like, I loved Four Swords. That was fun. I did play some of Four it, Swords. It's different. Um, I liked, uh, Win uh, not Wind Ringer, but uh, what was the other one I'm thinking of? Um... Twilight Princess, I've almost finished that one. I just stopped playing because as soon as I got to that point, Metroid Prime 3 came out. Um, I couldn't... Not. Okay, I, I understand. And that. then I forgot to go back to it. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Um, let's see what's another Zelda I've played. I, I, I know there were two on the Game Boy I played, like Oracle Seasons of... and Ages. Yes, those those are the two I have My played. brother and I fucking did that. And then uh, there's also uh, Majora's Mask, which I actually do like a lot. Um, it's just that at the Water Temple, I'm like, fuck this noise, I'm out of here. <laughs> so, I kind of stopped playing at that point, I haven't gone back since. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. I it's not that I was, and it's not that it's like, one of those legendarily hard parts of the game, it's just, I didn't feel like going through it. <laughs> That's all it was. <laughs> Understandable. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, um, how about that local generic sports oh, team? There, there is another new game I've been playing, um, Endless Space. And it, it's on Steam. It, it's, it's interesting because, well, obviously it's, it's based in space. And in a way, it, it, it's like a, a turn-based, I, I don't, I guess, strategy. Yeah. And one of the things is that it takes a long time. Like, one match took me several hours to beat. 
Fuck that. And well, I mean, you you could make it not last as long, but I guess maybe just the way I played it takes longer. Um, but it's pretty much you you start on you know one system. You have a planet, and you know there's like research trees. There's you know your weaponry, other shit. You have four branches that go on for a fucking quite a while. Um, and you have like four resources that each system has independent of each other and pretty much you just you know build up your civilization colonize more planets more systems you know diplomacy the shit out of guys or just invade them whatever you you want to do that way hmm. um but so yeah I, like I mean, starcraft not really because starcraft you know it's it's a real-time strategy oh, it's yeah. a lot more actiony this mm-hmm. one you know, it's it's turn based. You, you know, you oh, you have okay. time to to decide what you want to do. Gotcha. I've seen um, a little of the gameplay. It looks pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, it's it, it's pretty good for a, a bit more of a kind of relaxed game. Um, I I mean, it, it it's fun and for me, it's it's you know kind of engrossing. Like I can sit there and I played for like five hours without even realizing it was five hours. Yeah. But, I mean, in a way, that's just kind of like the game I like to play, where you have to manage this stuff and just try to build it up, you know, better than your enemies. Hmm. Hmm. Nice. So, yeah, there's that game. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. Um, oh, one other thing I want to mention in Skyrim that I'm doing just for the hell of it, and uh, people who love the uh, last airbender, Avatar, um, they're going to get a kick out of this one. But uh, what I've been doing throughout the game is just whenever I see cabbages, I just take them. I don't, I don't even use them for anything. I just take as many as I can carry, and I, I just store them back in my house or whatever. I'm going to be the cabbage guy. Just whenever, you know... Whenever cabbage I, king! Whenever, whenever my cart gets destroyed, I'll be like, my cabbages! And just, you know, be depressed oh, whenever God. I lose them all. How yeah. many cabbages are you up to? Uh, last count was 70-something. So... Hmm. Nice, nice. So I know the last time I actually had a solid number was 69, I was very proud of that. Nice, nice. Alright, I guess one of the game I've been playing. Far Cry 3. Okay, so how... I've heard a little bit of the, what, what Aaron's going to say. How is that? Cru- Cruiser, when he was on the podcast last time, he said it was one of his best games of the year. So, Or I think it was his best, actually. So. I think so, yeah. I love it. <laughs> I love it so much. Would you, would you say it's like Skyrim, but with guns? I hate that analogy so much, but it's so goddamn true. <laughs> well, like... like, like Tell, what is the major differences between Skyrim and Far Cry, except for the guns? And the setting that's not fantasy? Yeah. <sighs> like, like, like... Uh, your objectives? <laughs> that's about it. Like, like, like <laughs> your quests? <laughs> g- g- give some highlights of the game. Um, skinning animals is a fun. Fun. <laughs> Going on hunts are fun. Man hunts are fun. Playing poker games are, I say fuck you too because they're cheap. <laughs> uh, no, it's just a fun game, you know. Taking down towers to make like new fast travel points is such a goddamn challenge, especially mm. since you have to uh, deactivate their alarm systems. Otherwise, twenty more guys come and then you're fucked up the ass. <sighs> That sounds kind of fun. Yeah, it, it's pretty cool too because uh, in their uh, little bases they have caged animals. So if you're from a distance and you got a sniper, shoot the cage and let just the animals take it. <laughs> and if they and if all the enemies die in that area, the base is yours. So it doesn't matter how it happens, it just has to happen. Nice. Yes. So I was very excited just to do that. It just I was like, okay, shot the cage, started walking towards it, and all of a sudden I captured. I was like, what the hell did I do? So so here's the question: Are there explosives? Yeah. Yes. Of so course. could you like sneak around the the base or whatever, plant explosives, and then like. Go you off can only distance. do one C four. Oh, that's kind of limiting. One C four. I was hoping you could just kind of like wire some explosives around the base yeah. and then just bam and take one it over. One C four is all you get too. That's all you get. Hmm. Yeah, like as Aaron pointed out, that is kind of limited. Yeah, but it is a fun game. Highly recommend it. I actually got it for Christmas from a friend. The bastard gave me his copy, not a <laughs> brand new one. <laughs> but so I didn't get any. I had to buy this uh, multiplayer pass, which I'm not gonna buy. So uh, he told me the multiplayer kind of was stupid, but I don't really trust his opinion anyway. 
Since he's stupid. Well, you're probably not going to get it anyway. No, probably not. Because <laughs> it's uh, the multiplayer are just uh, missions already set out. You can't like just go open world shit on everything. They're actually just set missions, either racing, uh, beating the clock to a place, or taking down a fortress. That does Which, sound kind of boring. Yeah. So. It sounds similar to Just Cause 2 a little bit. Like yeah. how that's sort of the only thing to do is just take down fortresses. Yeah, so... I but mean, in Just Cause 2 it is open and you can go wherever you want. Well, take so, it down so, so, so is Far Cry 3 a little bit. But not in the multiplayer. No, not in the multiplayer. You just like right, right. open world shit. Which sucks, but... Eh. Hey, it's still the multiplayer aspect. I mean, you still get to play with your bros, so... Oh, yeah. My bro yeah, hoes. You, you know, that, that kind of reminds me of, like, the switch from Crisis 1 to Crisis 2. Because mm. Crisis 1, you know, it's all open. You just go whichever way you want. Crisis 2, it's more of a linear game. Now, see, I, I want to throw something out here. Um, it's not really your Crisis the Mill, but it's really the multiplayer <coughs> aspect here. I, I, I don't know what, I, what, what to make of this whole tacking on multiplayer to games that you know, have these big open world campaign story kind of deals, and then just tacking this on. I'm wondering, like, would that is that multiplayer, do you guys think that's like taking away from the main campaign a bit and taking some of the assets or focus off that to, like, make a campaign that may not be, live up to as good as what the other stuff could be? I mean, just saying. Um, maybe I, a little bit, but I don't think it really takes too much away, because no. when the multiplayer is like that, it, it really just seems tacked on. Like, like, pretty much their focus was on the whole singer, single player, mm -hmm. and then they just decided that they wanted to add a multiplayer to yeah. get more sales, maybe. Yeah, but I mean, it's it's fun in a way, but I mean, I wish there was like an open world that you can go yeah. with. Like with Borderlands, that was fun, with people just hop in, hop out, and you're just an open world. That well, was well, great. I, I think it would be cool to have like, uh, say, a Far Cry 1, and then you know, open world where maybe you could be taking one base and you have a couple buddies taking another because they want to do that. Or just, uh, you know, team bases. Yeah. yeah. Like, versus. They didn't have that. All they had was just team. Was just a team just either beat the clock or take down, take something down. But no, not like against one another. But yeah, yeah whatever. Great game by it. <clears throat> if, if, you're into, <laughs> if you're into single player shit like I am. Yeah. I, I like single player games more just because I like the aspect of, you know, being alone and some things. Like, mm -hmm. for example, Silent Hill, you would kill that if you did multiplayer just because it's all oh, about God. being alone, being isolated, being oppressed by just the world. Actually, they could do it if you, like, started out, you were together. No, 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 no. <laughs> but, no. but later no. on, it separated you guys. No. And, and, you, and you both had to go through your own shit, that's, really. That's awful. That is... That's only that's like fucking RE4 when you had to do like fucking Ashy's shit. That was horrible. So you haven't played RE4? I, I haven't even played the Silent Hill you guys talked about. <laughs> then your opinion shouldn't matter. Yeah, your opinion is gone. <laughs> it is but null and void. I, I, I do like single player campaigns and you know I think that those should still be a really good focus for you know many many games. Mm -hmm. But at the same time I do also really like co-op, you know, like, just even two people. Yeah, exactly. And just, as long as it's, you know, done well and it's not, like, just a kind of tacked-on second player, I, I want a second player that's actually kind of important to the storyline mm -hmm. as well. Like, um, Army of Two. I, I haven't played it, but go ahead. Okay. It, 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 explain to us. Enlighten okay. us. Explain us like, it's, like, explain to us like we're four years old. You and your friend are together in missions. In every single mission, you have to get over a ledge. You must climb on his shoulders to get him up. Then you <laughs> grab him. Then you, like in another level, say a train level. One of you is at the top. Like one trains. of you is at the bottom. <laughs> <Like trains>. <laughs> <laughs> they go choo choo. <laughs> one's at the top. One's, one's the at the bottom. the bottom. Yep. And then sometimes they go different trains. So then you help each other uh, make it through the trains. That does sound pretty cool. Yeah, that's an army of two. So. Nice. Yes. Yeah. So something like that. <laughs> yeah, or, or like, you know, say an RPG where... Because, you, you, know, you know, there's some RPGs and then you yeah, go the through... Tank, yeah, the And everyone just, just, you know, every NPC talks to the first person. Like, the, the, like there's no second player oh, in existence. Yeah. Well, like, it's a lot like what Saints Row did where it's like you have two people playing. It's like the one who's hosting the game typically is the one who does... Actually, not even that. It's, it's whoever, whatever game you're on. Like, if I'm playing with you, uh, I only see my guy talking to people, and the same goes for you. You only see your guy talking to people. Yeah. Like, but we I, never see each other in the cutscenes. It'd you know? be nice if, you know, the co-op just kind of 
added other people and, you know, they could be involved in the cutscenes and shit, but I know that'd be more work and they'd have to oh, actually yeah. build the game around the co-op. Yeah, they would. But still, I mean, well, that'd be nice. Here's the thing, though. Why don't they have, like, a separate co-op mode? I mean, people play it for co-op a lot and that seems like it would work. Because yeah. they want it available for single player and if you wanted, if you made a whole single player campaign and a whole co-op campaign... That'd be like twice the development yeah, time. Well, be. why not make it a co-op campaign then, but then make it possible to do single player like in Left 4 Dead? Because you still have the fucking AI to deal with. In Saints Row, but you already have the AI with you. Always have Pier- you always have someone like Pierce or uh, Shondi or someone with you. Yeah, not always. Most of the time, though. And at the same yeah. time, they're pretty fucking dumb. No, actually, the uh, big guy. Uh, he's Hold pretty. It? He's pretty good. That's because he's massive and can take out trucks on his own. <laughs> excuses, excuses. Come on. Like, if, if you could have your co-op partner play as a big fucking brute like that, shit, I'd play as that guy all the time. Damn just, right, I'd just, refuse to play as the other guy. What, an army of policemen? Bowl him over, just fuck him. Well, what's funny is, uh, you bring that up and, uh, there are these things where you get called in to uh, like take out like this like group of cops, which will raise your one level, and more cops will show up. Yeah, it's, it's, like just waves of cops. Yeah. yeah. And so what I always do before I go to those is I call in a giant version of uh, Gat. Johnny Johnny Gat, and um, he and I just rip them up to sh- like none other. And I'm pretty much just sitting there with my pocket fist, just fisting the fuck out of everything. Nice. nice. <laughs> yeah. But, but, you know, you see the... If they had a co-op with AI, then that would kind of... The AI would would just be kind of shitty. Most of the time, yeah, AI is pretty shitty. Although, they could build the campaign around co-op, and then just, you know, maybe remove that second player if you wanted to play alone. And, I mean, some sections might feel a little weird, but other ones, you know, they could just slightly modify. Yeah. Oh, what's in the world of Facebook? Well, I see a picture from Django. Django! The Django. Fucking great movie. I had two notifications. Just someone liked my one post I made, then the other one where I uh, put up a picture from the Did game. you like my post about promoting you guys? Yeah. I did, actually. I was very happy with that. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, you're welcome. Now promote me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Steven and his comedy. Damn right. Yep. Yeah. Uh, check it out Monday nights at the Yacht Club, and uh, yeah, other places. He'll probably announce those as time goes on. Yep. Hopefully, you know, if I don't suck too bad. You'll either laugh at my jokes or laugh at my pain. Either them. way, that you leave him laughing. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> if not filled with rage. <laughs> that fat fuck wasn't funny. He wasn't funny and I couldn't even laugh at his pain. I fuck want him. him. I want my not existent Oh, God. That was so horrible. I want my Monopoly money back. <laughs> <laughs> but the shit I threw at him back. <laughs> Hmm. So I, I can't really think of anything else. Um, well, I do want to bring up one thing. It's somewhat news-related, but I mean, you know, we can still talk about All that right. a little bit. Okay. Um, have you guys heard about this uh, Th- Southington SOS thing going on up in Connecticut? In Connecticut? No. I have not heard about this Southington SOS thing, unless you've been telling me about it without telling me it was Southington SOS. Maybe uh, I think I have. Uh, pretty much, for those who don't know, it's this thing taking place on January 12th, where um, pretty much... I don't remember who says they're organizing it because it's switched in various stores I've heard, but essentially there is some group in uh, Connecticut, Southington specifically, that is uh, trying to um, collectively gather up various violent media, video games, right, movies, right. etc. This reminds and, me, it's fucking retarded. And essentially what they're doing is doing a quote-unquote burning, I don't know if it's literal or figurative, uh, I don't know for sure, but that's pretty much what they're doing is they're getting rid of all of it, and people who bring in their stuff to get rid of will get a gift card or coupon for uh, money for a restaurant that they're choosing, I think. Damn, I was just about to say, they're just going to get a gift card, they're just going to buy more fucking violent shit. But yeah, you gotta think, this is... That's retarded. I know, it's fucking stupid. It's depressing to me is what it is, because it's like, you know, we go through all of this just to end up back at, at the pole... You know, Hitler burned books to censor out stuff back in his time. Exactly. How is that any better than? How is this any better than that right now? Well, he's saving trees and burning books. You know. <laughs> yeah, 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 you know what? If they're burning violent media and sh- stuff, maybe they should burn history books. Yeah, exactly. That shit's violent. And, man. and, and a lot of school books because yeah. those are violent. They have violent wars. You know, killing and all those pictures of like mutilated David people. versus Goliath. You know? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, all this violence going. They need to burn these too. Fucking Ark, the Joan of Arc. You know, 
kidnapping animals Dude, aboard a ship? Moby Dick. Possibly hey, raping them? Hey, Moby Dick. Hunting whales. What about the Bible, huh? Guy gets put on a cross, nails through his hands. Yeah, that's violent. Yeah, that's very violent. And yet, and yet we can't have games where someone just gets stepped on, like, you know, or uh, people get shot up. Come on. Or maybe someone gets stabbed violently. Yeah. Or, or, you know, maybe you shoot a few people and save humanity. Yeah, seriously, come on. Sacri- like, <laughs> people are stupid. Yeah. I fucking hate people. I mean, no offense to our listeners, but... You guys are stupid. <laughs> no. God damn it, stupid. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But no, seriously. Well, it, 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 you know, it, it, if they approve of this whole burning of all this stuff, then yeah, yeah, they're pretty stupid. <sighs> they're still stupid. <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding. I love you guys. Girls. Mostly Lo- the girls. Lollies. <laughs> <laughs> Furries. The list can go on. Cyborgs. <laughs> oh, there, there you remember that? Don't you even. <laughs> the, like, Ooh, story time. Anthropomorphic android nuggets. girls. Don't know. Nuggets, no. no. That's, that's awful. <laughs> but, but no, a, a, like half robotic anthropomorphic cat girls. Oh my god. <laughs> that sounds sexy. I want to meet one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, 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 I think we're done. With the podcast or just that conversation? Probably, train of thought? probably both. <laughs> both? Uh, I mean, we're, we're just going to keep coming up with stuff like this. No, no, this is on. gold. This is this is what dreams are made of. Damn right. Dreams this is the f- American dream, goddammit. Well, in some people's eyes. American dream. I, I'm all up for just coming up with wacky, zany ideas of what to talk about. Let's just, let's just do it, okay? America! Ameri- Fuck yeah. What's up, zany? It's just, that's what everyone talks about. America. Well, I mean, apparently, you know, the American dream is to do two lesbian... I'm sorry... Two Japanese twins at the same time. You know, that's... Wild burning violent media. Wild <laughs> <laughs> burning violent media! Yes! You got now, sex and now here's the fire. Thing, here's the thing I just thought of, you know? People are always going on about how violent games and movies, you know, influence kids to, you know, murder and shoot people and whatnot. Why has no one ever made the distinction that, you know, sex, like, porn influences people to rape people? No one's Wait. ever made that case before. Yeah, you know what? Back, say, maybe 50 years ago or something, there were probably no school shootings or anything, were there, really? Not really, no. And you know what's changed since then? Rules and restrictions. Parents not giving discipline a shit. their kids. That's right. These little fuckers need a spanking. Parents need to beat their kids. Damn right. I'm taking that from Russell Peters, because he said parents need to yes, beat their kids. Yes, they do. I wouldn't even go that far. I'd say parents just need to pay attention to their goddamn kids. I mean, the whole Columbine thing, going all the way back to that... Most of it was just because no one paid attention to those motherfuckers. Yeah, but still, I mean, parents need to discipline their kids. And I don't care about anyone who says, no, that's child abuse. Disciplining a kid is not fucking child abuse. Dude, well, I got, I got the fucking bell. Shit. Let's, pay, let's take this one step further. When I was in trouble with my fucking, like, uh, babysitter, her husband would literally hold me down while she poured hot sauce down my throat. Ballin. That, that, that one is kind of abusive. <laughs> <laughs> it taught you a fucking lesson. Yes, but but, but that's a, that's going too far. <laughs> no, I'm actually dead serious on that too. If like, you like, were not, oh my god. See, if I had kids, I would have creative, fun punishments. Fun for me, not for them. Oh, yeah. But they'd be, they'd be creative in a way where it's like, you know, you know they're not going to do it again because they don't want to put up with that kind of shit. Like, 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 I mean, like the fetus room? I, I remember, you know, you, you'd get like... Soap and shit for saying bad things. Soap and mouth, yeah. Um, you, you'd get, you know, like, like you know, dowel rods, right? Oh, yeah. oh god. You, oh, you yeah. would, you would get beaten with one of those if you did god. something. Even sometimes to the point where that thing would break. Yes. L- let's just say that but, Malcolm in the Middle is very inspirational for how to punish children. Damn right it is. <laughs> parents need to discipline their kids, and and when I say parents need to beat their kids, I don't mean beat like abuse. I just mean discipline. Like a fucking spanking once in a while. Yeah, I mean, your kid does something wrong, don't just say, oh, you're bad, go to your room. No, you're not no, rounded. Beat the fucker. No, no, no. Like, for me, I, you know, like, I make him stand in the corner for hours. Like, I don't even tell him when I'm going to I'm just like, go to the corner, just stay there. Don't don't even move. Don't, you say anything, I'm going to fucking beat you. <laughs> and, and then after, like, five hours, I'm just having him stand there. Like, okay, time for your punishment. <laughs> see, 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 a, a lot of it with my mom was, was more... It, it, you know, I, after a few times, you don't really get beaten much anymore. 
It's it's just the threats are enough to make you stop. The threats. <laughs> Be, because it's like you get threatened with a beating and you're like, well, shit, I I don't want to get beaten again. See, but here's what I would. Here's the thing I'm trying to emphasize though with my, with my kids is it's not the fact that you did something wrong. It's the fact that you let me catch you do something wrong. That's just, you gotta you gotta be better than that. Come on. Damn right, Captain C, you didn't do it. In that right delivery drivers, fuck you. Oh yeah. <laughs> Done that several times. I mean, like I, I'm obviously not a, the best influence. Like I speed, I do things. I'm not, sure, I'm not even sure what I do, but I, the, I do things. <laughs> maybe some stuff. <laughs> but the thing is, you know, I, if, I, if I'm going to be a parent, I might be the best role model ever. There's going to be some things where be like, Daddy, why'd you get it? Because it's not no big deal. Shut the fuck up. You know, that kind of thing. Or just be like, Daddy, I did this, and, and, and they said it was bad. It's like, they're a fucking retard. That, that's perfectly fine. My kid gets in a fight, it's like, okay, let's get you like a drink or something. Like, but I'm not old enough. Like, <laughs> you're a man. You're a man. Let's, go get some, let's go get you some whiskey. <laughs> this will toughen you up. So get some hair on your chest. <laughs> God damn. And like, of course, one thing I've been wanting to do, I took the advice idea from uh, Jeff from the Rooster Teeth podcast. Um, <laughs> You know where I'm going with, but I want to just come up with all these random things to tell my kids. Like if they ask me like how something works or what's uh, what's or how this makes sense, yeah, you know, I would just make up the most bullshit thing just to mess with them. Like um, to take the example from Jeff, he was trying to teach his daughter how you know potty training, and the, how he did that was was you know he he told her that that you know bears live in the toilet, bears, and, 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 and you know that they, they poop. And, and and you know like if she if she didn't want the bear to starve then she got she got to poop in the toilet. <laughs> My God! <laughs> and it worked. I mean, it might not necessarily be true, but she became potty trained. Of course, in a later podcast, he did mention that you know she now always turns to the, the, the mob to make sure that you know he's not lying about whatever he says, <laughs> even if it's true. She always just goes like, "Is he telling the truth?" <laughs> nice, nice. Which is another lesson you tell you can teach your kids through that. Yeah, don't no. believe everything you hear. Yeah, and not only that, I mean, yeah, that, that teaches you that. And Check your resources. It, it also it gives them it gives them stories for later in life. Maybe I, an idea how to teach their kid to be potty trained. Back in my day, my father lied to me. <laughs> I get my kids afraid of the dark, and you know we're trying to like, get them off the nightlight and everything. It's like, okay, well here's the deal, kid. You know, night, night lights are good, but here's the thing. You think the darkness is scary. Night lights <clears throat> attract the boogeyman. You, you don't believe me, but it does. After a certain age, the boogeyman eventually gets an immunity to that he white light. Slenderman, <laughs> or or you teach him that you know. Like, yeah, I'll do Slenderman instead. That's better. <laughs> no, okay. Speaking of, sl- I'm sorry to put the sorry to just cut you off. You would <laughs> on Fifth Street in Coraville. Swear to God, next to the post office, there is four dolls. Four human-like figures looking like Slenderman in different outfits. <laughs> I need to take a picture of this for you. You do. It was scary as shit. Like, first time I saw that, it was a guy in black suit. I was like, fuck! <laughs> I, I fucking gunned it, and then I realized it was all... It was, like, four different people in, like, different stages of, like... Like, an army man, a sailor, a suit. <sighs> scary. Hmm. I'm going to take a picture of that just for you. I was going to say, you get a picture of that, we'll put it up on the website, the Facebook, we'll do everything with it. Oh my god. We'll abuse the shit out of that, Photoshop everything. Good, good. Put some tentacles on that shit, maybe a little schoolgirl. Oh my god, this is going to be fun. (laughs) Oh yeah. (laughs) The imagination has gone wild with this. (laughs) Throw a pedo bear in there. (laughs) Speaking of which, um, so a friend wanted to uh, dress up for Anime Iowa coming up. He wanted to dress up as Pedo Bear. He wanted three people to do this. Four Pedo Bears or three? Three in total. Three Pedo Bears. He was one of them. He had another buddy, and he asked me to do this. So my my thing was, what are we gonna be like the Three Musketeers? But we're all just gonna have like big candy canes instead and shit. He's like, no, we're actually just gonna hold up signs, and I was gonna have you hold up the sign Gungam style. And we go around in our U-Haul candy truck. I was like, what? No, that's stupid. No, we gotta be creative with this. I like my Three Musketeer idea better. You know, we can get, like, hats and shit, just candy canes. You wanna suck on my candy can? You know, such shit like that? Never mind. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't speak anymore. 
So yeah. how about that local generic sports team? That generic sports team is the best at what they do, whatever generic sport that is. I fucking hate them. They suck. Hey, hey, they are the team of champions. That's what dreams are made of. <laughs> champions are shit, and dreams are... These, these dreams, dreams are made of die. shit. Dreams die. Dream, dreams die, and champions <laughs> fail. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry to cut you off, though. What were we talking about again? Um, I think we were talking about raising kids and teaching them the ways of Nugget slender. porn, that's right! <laughs> um, I like how three childless single men are talking about raising children, you know? Oh, yeah. But but you gotta think. You're probably doing better than, than a lot. Yeah, just discipline your fucking kid. You, you know, that's the moral of this podcast. Discipline your goddamn kids. A gaming podcast talking about disciplining the kids. That's <laughs> I'm putting this on. <laughs> this definitely took an odd turn here. <laughs> yes. Yes, it did. <clears throat> Chloroform also works. Yeah, but that's also somewhat questionable. Yes, Very that... questionable. No, no, no. If they're just doing something bad, you got to sneak up behind these fuckers. That'll make them stop. That's... Or or go go or sneak up behind them and smack them with a wrench. See what no, I want to no, do? No, 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 no. Just that's sneak up behind them, smack them upside the head with your hand. See what I want to do? Is I want to do that Vulcan <laughs> neck pinch where I just knock them out, the and then just, and then when they fall down, like just take them to a different room, and then when they wake, it's like how the. Fuck I get here? <laughs> Maybe with like a note stapled to them or something? I know, that a, a slender like note just, you yes. know, all weird like they're like, what the fuck? <laughs> or, or just like, he came for you. He came for you. <laughs> or just put, he the, found you. <laughs> put fucking jigsaw on there. I want to play a game. There's no <laughs> running away. <laughs> you can't escape. <laughs> and, then, and then they're just like fucking scared. And then they want to sleep with a nightlight and you say, well, that's why he got you. <laughs> Like, Here's a knife instead. <laughs> like, and for Halloween, I know that I will probably get uh, owned for this somehow, but, like, what I want to do for Halloween in a situation like that would be just put those random notes from the Slender game up all over the house, nice. and just not be home when they get home from school, and then oh. they just come home and it's like, what's going on? And then just, like, when they least expect it, just turn on some music from the game and just, like... That fucking piano. Then freak the fucking shit out piano. of them! <laughs> fucking piano. Oh, God. Speaking of which, I've never played Slenderman. And, and make sure you're able to, like, lock the doors and shit from the outside so they can't get out. <laughs> <laughs> My kids will hate me and they will write papers about me saying just how awful I was. Years of therapy later. But they will grow up to be successful sons of bitches because I will make sure that's how it goes down. Oh, yeah. President of the United States. Who still wets the bed because they are scared of Slender. Damn right. That's my boy! They, they, they afraid of Slender. We shall not fear anything but Slender. <laughs> <laughs> they, they will go to war for Slender. Like, they will just look the earth for that monster. There's nothing to fear but Slenderman himself. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you know what I'll do then? I'll just call the security guards every now and then. Like, hey, uh, Secret Service, yeah? Y you know my son who's in the Oval Office? Yeah, that guy? Uh, put on that mask I gave you, and then just walk in. Don't even say it, just walk right in. <laughs> just, just, just open the door, lean in, and stare at him for a few seconds, and, and, and just just get out and close the door. <laughs> then, 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 then wait a few minutes and play the piano. <laughs> That'll get shit done. Damn right. Of course, at the, at the, at, at, at the kids' wedding, I just be, go in with that whole suit on, just like a little portable keyboard, like, you know, just play the... Play like, the song. <laughs> As he's walking down the aisle, you just suddenly, you know, are in the doorway behind him just playing that. He's like, what the fuck? He sees you and just books it. <laughs> he got cold feet. My bad. <laughs> awesome. So, I guess we'll title this episode The Slender Cast. <laughs> that's, where, that's where it pretty much went to. Slender again. Oh, yeah, Slender what, kids. That's what we're gonna be doing from now on. In the next Slender your kids. That's what we're doing from now on. A podcast, just you know, giving them titles now instead of just having them be episodes. Nice. Twenty thirteen people changes everywhere. Yeah. Twenty thirteen. Maybe that's what the apocalypse meant. The change of things as we know it for the <gasps> better. The Mayan calendars. Yeah. So who's who's disappointed by that whole end of the world bullshit? I kind of was because I mean a post apocalyptic scenario would be kind of interesting to live in. Yeah. But beyond that, I didn't really give a shit. Yeah, same here. I had a fucking work that day. <laughs> I... What was that Friday? That was... I? I don't remember. I had a work fucking... Yeah, you didn't. You haven't been at work in a while. Yeah, but wasn't it 21st? Yeah. Yes. 
What what day was that? That was uh, Friday. Friday. I can't remember if I worked that day or if I worked the Thursday. I don't honestly. remember. It. Did, I didn't work that day? I don't think you did. Mm-hmm. Not that I know of. No, I didn't work that day. I was editing stuff that day. Yeah, so I, I was disappointed. Was it yesterday? No, the day before yesterday when we got groceries, right? The day after tomorrow? No, the day before yesterday we got <laughs> groceries, right? He got my reference. Yeah, yeah. no, the movie. <laughs> yeah, you were working two days ago. Yes. I was. I saw on the schedule. Okay. I also have my schedule right here. Nice. Do you want to see your schedule? That's not a schedule. Wait, a... You, you, you have the whole thing? Yeah. That's not a oh, schedule. Yeah. That's a cell phone. Throw that to the ground. I, I would indeed like to see that. Okay, yeah. But probably after the podcast is over. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, um... I got a... Hey, I got an invitation by someone. Well, we are at the 50-minute mark. I think we'll go ahead and... Wrap up here. Right. Um, it's been a pretty successful podcast. Kind of. I've enjoyed this. This is actually a lot, I'm, lot of fun. I'm um, glad I came over. So uh, do tune in uh, next week for our normal podcast of this caliber at our normal time. Uh, we'll also be coming in with uh, new stuff like uh, ESN, Steam Greenlight, more Game On, obviously, and Game On Let's Play. And what else have we got, Mike? Anything else you want to add? Fuck, I don't know. Uh, reviews and shit. Eventually, maybe. Who knows? And, and more updates of the life of the the podcasters. I don't know what the fuck you'd call the people doing the podcast. Well, maybe if you want a joke or two, Sean and I can do some jokes. Yeah. Well, what I want to do at some point is have like you know various skits or just like ga- running gags throughout the podcast, just because you know that's, well, what, that's you... what radio shows do, right? They have like skits every now and then. They're com- those comedy talk show based things. Yeah. Like if if also you want to, you have like a video camera. We can just do some live shit. Oh yeah, I was going to definitely say we have a video camera. We'll probably do some video podcasts here in the next few weeks. Uh, Ooh. Yeah. Video podcast, live stream podcast, maybe if I can figure out how to do that without fucking everything up. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Yeah, we can just do like small videos of uh, random shit we come up with. Yep. For example, on my Facebook, I have a little video called How to Be a Spartan. It's pretty funny. It's like a three minute video because we didn't have that much time or material. I yeah. will link dump that. You, make you sure everyone, everyone that. can see it. It is good. I get punched by a uh, six foot black man twice. Once in the stomach, once in the shoulder slash head. Is his name Django? D no. Silent? No, his name Django. is Michael. The D is silent? No, his name is Michael. The D is silent? <laughs> <laughs> yes, actually, the D is silent. The, the Michael. The Michael. <laughs> All right, well, on that note, uh, we will be signing off. Uh, this is Aaron. This is the Mike. <laughs> this is, the D this is, is Steve, a.k.a. Fuba. And uh, we'll see you next week.